Political pundit Anthony Butler has expressed alarm about South African President Cyril Ramaphosa's seeming familiarity with the government of national unity, GNU. Please kindly subscribe to our channel, turn on the notification bell so as to get all our updates. Butler has made the case that Ramaphosa is more concerned with savoring the political advantages of the GNU than he is with advocating for the structural reforms necessary to assist the nation in overcoming its growing socio-economic issues. The GNU was established in 2024 after the national elections with the goal of uniting various political parties to create a government in spite of a split parliament. Many saw the alliance as the necessary compromise to stabilize the nation, but Butler claims Ramaphosa has become too comfortable and isn't doing enough to address the issues inside the African National Congress, ANC, or really alter the policies in place. Butler argues that by keeping the GNU together, Ramaphosa is eluding powerful ANC factions that are battling it out over issues of corruption and leadership. As Butler notes, Ramaphosa seems to have accepted the GNU's delicate balance, prioritizing building bridges across opposing political ideologies above resolving the long-standing problems inside his own party. Butler also asserts that the president's reliance on coalition politics has prevented the implementation of his goals. Due to conflicting goals, the government under Ramaphosa has struggled to build a coherent and consistent plan of action with coalition partners including the Democratic Alliance DA and minor opposition groups. According to Butler, a political environment where compromise is the norm makes dramatic change less likely to happen. Despite the fact that the GNU would provide Ramaphosa some short-term respite, opponents like Butler worry that it might have unfavorable long-term effects. Butler notes that although the president's reliance on the GNU model may be advantageous in the short term, it may also impede the bold leadership required to address problems such as unemployment, poverty, and inadequate service delivery. Many people think the GNU will help Ramaphosa survive in the face of a more divided electorate, notwithstanding these misgivings. Butler cautions that if Ramaphosa's pleasure of this political arrangement jeopardizes long-term national growth, South Africa may confront more severe political and economic issues in the future. Once more, in a political landscape often defined by high-stakes drama and shifting alliances, recent rumors about possible defections inside the Economic Freedom Fighters, EFF, have rekindled a heated discussion. There have been rumors circulating that several EFF leaders are thinking about switching to the MK party in the event that they are not re-elected. Even if these claims are yet unsubstantiated, the possible repercussions for the EFF are evident. These claims stem from a deeper internal party dispute that is made worse by worries about the National Prosecuting Authority, NPA, and possible legal repercussions. The idea that party leaders may resign under duress casts doubt on the EFF's ability to remain united inside. If these allegations are true, it would indicate that certain party groups are becoming more and more disgruntled and may be looking to form new coalitions in reaction to legal or political challenges. It is important to emphasize, nevertheless, that these claims remain unsubstantiated, and there remains a great deal of conjecture around the reasoning for these alleged acts. It is crucial that these accusations be made at the right time. Rumors of defections cast doubt on the future of leadership of one of the most vociferous political groups in South Africa as the EFF gets closer to a pivotal election season. There is a direct correlation between the level of political tensions and the degree of ambiguity among party members. The departure of these leaders might have catastrophic effects, altering the political landscape and casting doubt on the future cohesiveness of the EFF. Still, it is prudent to proceed cautiously while evaluating these claims. In the political sphere where unsubstantiated claims are common, it is crucial to avoid making judgments without hard data. These accusations are now just that, allegations. The EFF has a history of lasting controversy and has experienced political unrest in the past. It's unclear whether the most recent batch of accusations will cause the party to undergo any noticeable adjustments.